Okay, race three is the Betfred Bowl Chases, a grade one. So, acquitted for Paul Road is number one. Barra Killer for Graham Clutterbuck, for Lee Nash, Galani for Doug Warren, It Marbo for Darren Thompson, Keys of the Kingdom for Liam Van Rensburg, Standout King for Darren Howes, You Do Hoodoo for David Robertson, Facon Melancholy for Martin Leadham, Malta Visioni for Molly at Surfer, Princess Lady Jane for Ghost Sapper, and Time to Kill Joshua Sutherland. Eleven of them to take on this grade one event over three miles and a furlong. The start has already got them all weight. And we're going to wait for them to settle down. They approach the first. Everybody's over it. Bit of a poor jump by Standout King. We'll have plenty of time to settle. Looks a bit tactical. Nobody wants to take this along at the moment. As so the jockey's having a hold. We're going to wait to see that uh, one of them may well uh, want to lead as they go into the second together. Oh, and this time a really poor jump there by Acquitted. Demoted himself a little bit. And finally, it looks like we've got a horse that wants to take us along, and it's Malto Visiony for Molly at Surfer. Had enough of going along at that pedestrian pace. Wants to make it a race. So as they go past the grandstand now, it's Malto Visiony that leads them into the third. Took it uh, a little slow. On his outside is You Do Who Do. And they're just being followed through by Barra Killer. And against the fence is Keys of the Kingdom. We've got the uh, light blue silks of Princess Lady Jane. John Morgan looking to get a quick fire double after winning the, the four year old anniversary juvenile. And behind that is It Marbo. Time to kill against the fence. Whereas Princess Lady Jane's dropped back a little bit. And Felina Ashgarani. Also in there is Facon Melancholy looking to get two wins on the bounce after a, a surprising win over at Cheltenham last week but it's still Malto Vision in that's leading them it's got about a three length advantage now over Keys of the Kingdom, Barra Killer and You Do Who Do so as they approach the next it's a long run from the third to the fourth here at Aintree so it's Malto Vision -y. still leading from Keys of the Kingdom and Barra Killer You Do Who Do Standout King being pushed along a little bit get a better position they're over the fourth this time a poor jump by It Marbo and Time to Kill at the rear to be able to continue going around like this. We're about to lose someone into the fifth. Everybody's over that. It's time a slow jump by You Do Who Do. Has demoted him back into mid pack. As they approach the next, the six. Oh, and the leader went straight through the top of it. Lost a bit of momentum. And Barrakilla and the Keys of the Kingdom have come alongside a little bit to challenge. Philly Nash Galani's there. And Standout King, You Do Who Do. Acquitted it, Marbo. Fack on Melancholy as they go into the seventh. I think everybody again a poor jump towards the rear by time to kill. But it's still Malto Visiony. Still managed to hang on to his lead by a couple to Barrakilla and Keys of the Kingdom. Felina Shkalani. You do who do against the fence. Two orange silks of standout king. And Fack on Melancholy. And just the four at the rear at the moment. Go over the eighth, and it's the first jump. I think actually everybody got over it successfully and uh, reasonably, but it's still Malto Vision 8. We've only uh, got a mile and a half to travel. It's Malto Vision 8 from Feline Ashkalani in second now as they come to the ninth. They're all over it, as we'd expect with these G1 horses. Should be jumping quite successfully here on day one at Aintree. Grand National tomorrow. Oh, and we're losing one now. You do hoodoo's being pulled up. They go past the grandstand for the last time. Approach the tenth. Oh, everybody's over that, but a real poor jump by Keys of the Kingdom. They're lucky that uh, some of these are standing in these conditions. But uh, lost you do hoodoo. Had a couple of poor jumps. Had enough. Gone back to the stable block. We take a sharp left turn here at Aintree. Out for the final circuit, and it's still Molto Visiony. Well, it's moved up well on the outside now. It's time to kill. In the last most of the first circuit, but he's joined with Acquitted and Feline Ashkalani, and then they're length back to Barra Killer. It's Marbo, Keys of the Kingdom, all still taking a hold of these horses. They just follow through by Standout King, Princess Lady Jane, and Facon Melancholy is just at the rear at the moment. But it's Molto Visiony being pushed along by his jockey now. Still remain down. We're losing another one now. Princess Lady Jane's going. Bad luck there, John. It's not going to be a double for you. So it's Malta Vision he's still by about four to acquitted. Feline Ashkalani in time to kill. Keys of the Kingdom, Barra Killer into the Oh, we've lost the leader. Malta Vision he's gone. Shipped his jockey. He 
he's out of the plate and now we've got the loose horse may cause a little bit of problems to Feline Ashgalani no, it looks like he caused a problem for acquitted there he's got a bit of air but with just uh, four left to jump it's Feline Ashgalani that leads us into the 13th not unlucky for anybody although we're losing another one if Marbo's getting pulled up so that's three for the pull-ups so as they take this final bend which will lead them all the way round to the home straight it's quite a long turn here at Aintree but it's Feline Ashgalani that's still leading them gets over the 14th well so it's Keys of the Kingdom now that just noses in front from Feline Ashgalani Fak on Melikoli on the outside time to kill acquitted standout King and Barakila there's three links between first and last the loose horse now just causing a little bit of problems to Barakila but up front is Kings of the Kingdom that sets for home with just three furlongs to go. They take the 15th with just two left to jump. That's three from home. It's Keys of the Kingdom. Leads by a couple of lengths to Feline Ashgalani. Fakon Melancholy on the outside, but a couple of lengths back to Time to Kill. Standout King running on Acquitted and Barakilla. But up front by about a couple is Keys of the Kingdom into the penultimate. Gets over it well. Still leads by a couple from Fakon Melancholy. Feline Ashgalani seems to have run out of steam now on the outside. Here comes Time to Kill, but he's got a lot to do. And it's still Keys of the Kingdom as they approach the last. Keys of the Kingdom leads by about three to Fakon Melancholic. Time to kill running on really well, but it's Keys of the Kingdom still. Keys of the Kingdom takes the 17th. No, he falls. Poor jump there and is allowed. Fakon Melancholic and Time to Kill. It's these two now. It's Time to Kill and Fakon Melancholic. I think Time to Kill is just going to hang on to this from Fakon Melancholic. Bad luck there for Leon Van Rensburg. Very fortunate win there for Time to Kill for Joshua Sutherland. I'm not sure he would have caught uh, Keys of the Kingdom if he got over the last. Second was Fakon Melancholy for Martin Leader. Another second. Acquitted for Paul Rhodes, turned in third. And I think Feline Ashkelani hung on to fourth of Doug Warren, which is a good run for a, a group one. So, time to kill wins it for Joshua Sutherland. Second was Fakon Melancholy for Martin Leader. And third was acquitted for Paul Rhodes. Fourth was Feline Ashkelani for Doug Warren. And fifth was standout king for Darren Howes.